There's some flexibility here tactically. At times it'll be three in the back and at times five, all depending on Tolkien and Harper. Most notably, Maxime Cheneau is back in, which allows James Sands to move into the midfield. Yeah, Sands and Parks gives this team the ability to dominate the game in space. Spanning New York, it's the New York Red Bulls and New York City FC. In 2021 and 2022, with multiple blood clot surgeries, missed their playoff run, missed the MLS Cup in 2021, which they won, of course, despite his absence. Just wide of the post, Gabriel Pereira. Wonderful ball towards oh, Rodriguez and Reyes, Reyes getting his foot in the way, which he needed to. Yeah, but how about the run from Santiago Rodriguez? Barlow in a foot race. Barlow's going to get there. And a heavy touch sends it into Barraza. And you've got Reyes picking up the pass from Pereira. Then immediately, this is what the New York Rebels want to do. Play vertical direct with your play in the final third. And a great run forward here from Kevin O'Toole. Inside to Magno. Tylus Magno. Now Pereira is going to hit it first time. Oh, off the bar. What an effort. I just love the idea to hit this first time. And the one thing about. Maxime Cheneau, it's given away. Keaton Parks really strong. Took out Edelman. Be the first yellow card of this derby. Not in this moment. James Sands breaks it up. Now is it open maybe for NYCFC. Pereira, what oh, ball. what a ball to find. Tylus Magno has Ledesma in the middle. This is Tylus Magno keeping it himself. Tylus Magno. Will that change in this second half? Ted Uncle gets it underway. Hudson River Derby scoreless after 45. Tolkien stepping forward. Tried to play the direct to Barlow and made it to him. Here's Ricky Carmona trying it from distance. Barraza to save. And O'Toole getting it clear. To the way he reads the game, fortunate enough he's in the right spot after a tough layoff from Barlow. But immediately comes into the game. By far the most the Red Bulls have troubled Luis Barraza tonight. Ricky Carmona just into the match, forcing a save. Now it's Caceres from distance, and that one will be far simpler for the New York City goalkeeper. Chanel into the feet of Rodriguez. Out to O'Toole. Ted Uncle will bring this back for the foul. Waited to see if an advantage would materialize. It'll be a restart, a set piece for New York City, and it will be a yellow card for Andres Reyes. Avon Gray carrying forward, fouled by Nealis. Came at Chicago a couple weeks ago. His only goal for the Rebels this year. Trying to make it through. This is from distance. Oh, it's a wonderful goal. It's Omir Fernandez. A goal that this game sorely needed. Red Bull Arena set on fire by the homegrown 1-0 Red Bulls. He's creative, he's dynamic, but most importantly, he's intelligent. And part of that intelligence is just being in the right spot at the right time. But I'll take anyone in an argument and you telling me that Fernandez is not the most creative player on the field wearing red. Little deflection off the defender. It doesn't matter. Red Bull Arena, New York City is red in the 76th minute. Tavon Gray off. The ball then is cleared right to the feet of Fernandez. And instinctually, he prepares it in a great finish. Took the moment. Now, the yellow card, it appears, is going to come from Ted Uncle. Rodriguez, Tyler Magno, Keith Parks, Pereira, Gray overlapping, Pereira cuts inside, tries it from distance, and Cornell will give a little courtesy dive. It's not over yet. Game ain't over yet, my friend. 87th minute, stoppage time to come.
nasty challenge. Absolutely. Now the question is, it looks more so that Stroud to Tolkien. Carmona in the middle instead goes back towards Burke. Burke as well strong. Now on the right, sends it over. Much better, much better. Pereira serves. They'll do it again? No, they won't. Just one chance, says Ted Uncle. Final whistle. New York is red tonight. Red Bulls won. New York City nil.